In season four of The Sopranos, fictional mob boss Carmine Lupitazzi says to Tony Soprano that a Don doesn't wear shorts. But is this actually true in real life? Let's check it out. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organised crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a fun look at the famous quote, a Don doesn't wear shorts, from the hit TV show The Sopranos. In episode one of the fourth season of The Sopranos, Anthony Soprano is meeting with Ralph Cifaretto, Christopher Moltisanti, along with New York mobsters John, Johnny Sack Sacramoni and Carmine Lupitazzi. At the end of this meeting, and just after a group of flight attendants from Icelandic Air enter, New York mob boss Carmine Lupitazzi makes the following famous comment. John said he went to a cookout at your house. Yeah. Don doesn't wear shorts. However, is this actually a real thing? But before we get to that, let's take a look at the interesting incident that happened to actor James Gandolfini in real life that actually inspired the famous line. According to actor Michael Imperioli, who portrayed Christopher Moltisanti, the famous line came from a mysterious phone call that James Gandolfini received. Imperioli would say about this, Carmine says it to Tony. It disturbs Tony because it means that somebody's blabbing about him. It's pretty obvious it's Johnny Sack who was invited to Tony's house. He's bitching to Carmine that Tony is wearing shorts. But the story goes like this. Gandolfini got a call in the middle of the night on his cell phone. It was an unknown number. He answers the phone, hello? And the guy on the other line says, hello? And then nobody's talking. The guy doesn't identify himself. Guy finally says, Listen, you're a great actor. We like what you're doing. But you got to know one thing. A Don never wears shorts. And click, the guy hung up. That was it. Jim never knew who he was. He doesn't know how the person got his number. Jim told the writers and it made its way into the script. But is there any actual truth to the statement that a Don doesn't wear shorts? Let's take a quick look at a few instances that might prove that this famous line is not entirely true in real life. First, let's go back to the late 1920s and we have Mafia Don Giuseppe Joe the Boss Masseria. In this photo here, we can clearly see Joe the Boss sporting a pair of shorts. The photo was probably taken in Florida where Masseria would often visit. Not only was Joe the Boss Masseria a Mafia Don, but after the 1928 assassination of Salvatore Toto Dacula, Masseria was effectively elected to the position of Boss of Bosses of the entire Mafia in the United States. So, we can assume that no one ever said to Masseria that a Don doesn't wear shorts. Next up, we have the greatly feared boss of the Philadelphia mob, Nicodemo, Little Nicky Scarfo. Nicky Scarfo became the boss of Cosa Nostra in Philadelphia in 1981. In this photo, we see the brutal mob boss with Phil Leonetti, Nick the Crow Caramundi and Joe Grande. Scarfo was known to be particularly violent and vicious. His nephew and eventual underboss, Phil Leonetti, would later talk about how much Scarfo loved murdering people. Leonetti would say, My uncle loved it. He loved the killings. He used to say, Do it cowboy style. Bang them right out in the street in broad daylight. He wanted people to know that we were serious. That we weren't playing games. In this next photo, we have mob boss Frank Costello, sporting shorts whilst enjoying some fishing. Costello would serve as both acting boss and official boss of the then Luciano crime family from around 1936 or 1937 until 1957 when he stepped down after an assassination attempt by Vincent Giganti 
in a hit ordered by Vito Genovese. Back to Philadelphia and we have Joey Molino. Molino now runs a successful YouTube channel and Patreon. Depending on the source that you read, Joey Molino became the official boss of the Philly mob in 1999. Although it is believed that he was really running things for several years prior to this and was using Ralph Natale as a front. It appears that Joey Molino has left the criminal life behind him, although some suggest he is still the boss behind the scenes. But this is pure speculation. Molino is known to be a man who walks his own path and couldn't care less if someone told him that a Don doesn't wear shorts. Charlie Luciano is often referred to as one of the fathers of the modern American Mafia. In these photos, Luciano is seen in shorts, hanging out with Genovese crime family mobster Pasquale Patty Ryan Eberly. These photos were taken in Naples after mob boss Luciano had been deported to Italy. Patty Ryan Eberly was allegedly serving as the man who would travel to Italy and deliver Luciano his share of criminal proceeds. Technically, it could be argued that at the time of these photos, Charlie Luciano was no longer the Don of a crime family. However, he still remained a highly respected individual in mob circles. Carmine Persico was the long-time official boss of the Colombo crime family from around 1979 or 1980 until his death in prison in 2019. He spent the vast majority of his reign as the Don of the family behind bars which is where this photo of him in shorts appears to have been taken. If there was ever really an opinion that a Don doesn't wear shorts, then perhaps wearing prison-issued clothing makes you exempt from this. Much like in this photo of imprisoned mob bosses Nicky Scarfo and Vic Musso. Scarfo, seen in the green top, is stood next to Lucchese crime family boss Vic Musso, in the centre of the photo. John Gotti's son, John A. Gotti, often referred to as Junior Gotti, served as acting boss of the Gambino crime family from around 1991 until 1999. He is seen here in this photo on the right-hand side, walking the streets of New York in shorts. It is often stated by various sources that Junior Gotti wasn't respected as a boss by some members of the Gambino family and also by the leaders of other families, especially the Genovese. However, it could be argued that Junior Gotti was in a difficult position, having been given the role by his father and may have felt that he couldn't turn down the position. It isn't clear when exactly this photo was taken, so Junior Gotti may not have been acting boss at the time. But I've always enjoyed the fashion in this photo, so thought I would include it. Ultimately, this video is just a bit of fun, but perhaps proves the point that in real life, there was no opinion that a Don doesn't wear shorts. Thanks for watching.